Hello everyone, this is Al Spectre. Welcome back to the Land of Empires. And today, I want to record a quick video guide on armament setups in the Battle Disorder. Now, I may say armament setups, but it's really just Season 6 armaments. And Season 6 armaments has been used very frequently in the current as well as previous seasons of the Battle Disorder. And the reason why they're so popular, uh, excluding the reason that I mean, excluding the fact that we do not have Season 7 and 8 armaments, I'm sure that will change a lot of things. But Season 6 armaments actually work very well against some of the Season uh, 7, 8, and even Season 9 teams. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to show you a couple examples in this video, but this video will be mostly geared towards some of the bigger players, because if you're a smaller player, these armament setups, especially in Season 6, just won't work very well for you. Um, they will be effective against, I guess, players of similar size or players smaller than you. But first of all, they cost money, $20 each. So it might not be for everyone. But for the bigger players, armaments are an invaluable tool in the battle disorder. Um, yeah, <laughs> you cannot live without armaments. Uh, every big player uses armaments towards a variety of battles, uh, battle situations. And it just allows them to fight continuously for hours and hours. And eventually, you'll run into a situation where none of your heroes actually have any energy like what I'm showing here. All my infantry heroes are pretty much out of juice. But really, this kind of showcases the value of Season 6 armaments. Because not only is it effective against a lot of teams, you can equip it across all of these different heroes. Now, I will... Uh, make a focus of this video to clarify which set of heroes are good for the Season 6 armament setup and which set of heroes you really don't want to burn their energy using the Season 6 armaments. Their energy are better used to either counter the Season 6 team, because a lot of big players are running them, or um, counter other teams. But hopefully we can dive straight into some of these reports starting with, I guess, a mirror setup. This is not very interesting, but I really kind of want to show where the Season 6 uh, team is very valuable. Now, when the enemy is not running like com combative skill, which is skills 3, it makes your team very, very powerful. We can see that the Season 6 team can deal quite a lot of damage. Um, so this is one of the very popular setups. It is consisting of the Season 6 I mean, Season 8 Infantry Hero, Season 8 Cavalry Hero, and the Season 9 Archer Hero in this kind of troop formation. Now, this is basically a two-hit for my Season 6 armor setup. So although I am losing uh, the fight, I am burning his energy. So he will not be able to run this team quite as often as he would like compared to the Season 6 teams. If I could maybe find a couple more examples here, I show my... A season 6 setup versus another one of the popular setups, which is Season 9 Infantry as well as Cavalry, combined with the Season 8 Archer. So this is also a two-hit. Now, teams that Season 6 do not work very well against, this is one of them. So anything, a lot of things involving uh, Leona, for example, or the Season 7 Infantry Hero. There's also a lot of Season 8 teams that counter the Season 6, such as Full Season 8 team, or, um, yeah, <laughs> Full Season 8, uh, a lot of Season 8 varieties do very well against Season 6, but also a lot of Season 8 compositions are countered by Season 6. Uh, you can check out all the details in my meta database, which I try to keep uh, updated fairly regularly. We're actually moving into Season 10 now, so I'll have to update that with Season 9, etc. I'm trying to do that right now. And when Season 10 comes, hopefully we can actually explore the Season 10 meta. Hopefully it's not going to be as messy as our current season. Uh, but what, what am I looking at here? Yeah, this is kind of another counter towards the Season 16. If you see a lot of people running Season 6, you can just run this setup with primarily infantry and archer. You don't need that many cavalry because Morgan does absolutely nothing besides provide the uh, rage skill regen bonus towards your archer. The archer is the one doing all the damage, not only towards season six, but also towards mirror setups, whether that's Michael, Morgan, Leona, or uh, Neptunarch, um, Dorothy, uh, season six archer. 
but I'm trying to find uh, one of the interesting cases where the season 16 counters the season 17. Um, it doesn't counter this team specifically. So when you see season 7 infantry um, not equipped with any armor, then you're not going to be able to counter it. You're going to be able to deal some damage to it, but you're not going to be able to like actually counter it. If the player is much stronger than you, then the damage you're going to be able to deal is rather minimal. However, when you see a team, a season 9 team, that has their infantry heal equipped with the Michael's armor, then season 6 somehow deals a lot of damage to it. It's actually quite a good counter, both in both for attacking as well as defending, which is like I don't I don't understand how it works, but it just works. And I'm going through these screenshots trying to find one, and it's kind of hard to find these examples because we're actually a few days into the battle and a lot of the people have figured out figured out what works and what doesn't work and in these long battles we tend to try to avoid these um unfavorable circumstances uh yeah here he just didn't have any troops this i don't know what's going on here yeah, so this kind of showcases an example of where my season 6 team got countered by one of the classic uh, season 7 teams consisting of Michael, Morgan, and Leona. It's a very effective team against season 6 and very consistent as well. A majority of the damage will be dealt by Leona. If you face this kind of a mirror setup, it's, it's hard to say uh, the ratio of Michael versus Leona you'd want, but typically as few Morgan as possible, and at about half and half or slightly more Michael than Leona for the season. Um, well, this is not exclusively season seven, but I just call it five or seven. Um, any more examples? This is just mirror, but, but you get the idea. Now, one of the things before I end this video, I kind of want to give an uh, example of how you may want to switch out these teams. Because as you can see, my current season six armor team is very, very low on energy. And you want, uh, in the midst of battle, especially when the battle is very intense, you'd want to do this fast. So I kind of recorded a quick video uh, to showcase how to switch out these armors at relative speed. It's easier to do on the phone than on your computer, of course, with a mouse, because it's just kind of awkward. It's much easier with your fingers. But yeah, I'll showcase the setup. But before I start this video, um, basically you do not want to equip the season six armor on compositions that counter season six. And this is because everyone, uh, all the top players will use, will cycle through their teams with the season six armor. And you need a way to consistently counter that. Otherwise you will have to bash them with uh, mirror season six. And oftentimes that's not ideal. So teams that you do not want to burn energy with the season six armor include those which I showed before, uh, specifically five, four, seven and seven, seven, six. I'll just use numbers. The numbers represent seasons. And yeah, for those in those cases, no armor is used. But yeah, I'm just going to show how it works. So here I see that my heroes no longer have energy. So right now I'm checking which infantry hero has the highest energy. And because all of my heroes are so dry, I found that uh, this big fat dude, Ar Arthur, has um, yeah has 40 energy. So I'm gonna switch the armor to him. And the way I do it is that I remove the gear from my previous infantry as well as cavalry hero. And then I just go through all my heroes to see which has the energy closest to my infantry hero. When you are working with the same season heroes, it makes it a lot easier because instead of looking at numbers and trying to match the numbers, you just match the season hero. Uh, you just search for the season three infantry, season three uh, cavalry, and then the season three archer. It makes everything really simple. And here I just show another example where I, yeah, I changed the, I changed the gears again to season three this time, I think, yeah, season three. So you can see that in this demonstration, I switched to season, uh, to uh, purple heroes and then to season three, I believe starting from season two heroes. So you want to do this quickly and always keep in mind after you do the switch, fix your formation because 
the troop numbers will be reduced and you want to maintain a consistent troop setup across every march that you send out. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video and please look forward to my next video uh, which will oh yeah yeah here I just saw Zayi having a random march lying around so I just went to attack it. And this is actually the beginning of the video with the mirror outcome. All right, I'll see everyone in my next video. Take care.